This video is going to cover covalent and dative covalent bonds. Covalent bonds occur between two nonmetals, such as hydrogen and chlorine. The two atoms share electrons in their outer shells in order to maintain the electronic configuration of a noble gas. Covalent bonds can be represented by a single line between two atoms. Each pair of atoms shared is represented by a single line. So when two pairs of electrons are shared, like in diatomic oxygen, two lines are drawn. Diatomic nitrogen shares three pairs of electrons, so it is drawn using three lines. However, there are times when covalent bonds won't satisfy every atom, for example in boron trifluoride. Here each fluorine atom maintains the electronic configuration of a noble gas, however boron needs two more electrons to complete its outer shell. In order to complete a noble gas structure, boron trifluoride needs to bond with another molecule. Ammonia has the formula NH3 and maintains a noble gas structure. However, the nitrogen atom has two spare electrons that it's doing nothing with. To solve both issues, two molecules can bond in a slightly different way. From the diagram, it looks like the molecules have simply shared their electrons but boron has no spare electrons to share with nitrogen. This type of bond, called a dative covalent bond, is where both electrons in the pair that is shared originate from the same atom. By bonding in this way, every atom in this molecule has the electronic configuration of a noble gas. We can represent this bond in a similar way to a normal covalent bond. However, to show the difference, we need to illustrate the lone pair of electrons in the diagram of nitrogen, being reacted with the boron, we do this by simply drawing an arrow from one of the electrons pointing towards the boron atom. Once we've done that, we can draw another diagram to show the two molecules that have bonded. We do this by drawing an arrow coming from the nitrogen atom and pointing at the boron atom. It's also important to note the charges of the individual molecules at the end.